To discuss all of this in more detail, we're really privileged to be joined by Andrew Wallace, who chairs the Influential Defence Subcommittee of the Joint Standing Committee on Foreign Affairs, Defence and Trade of the Parliament. He's a busy man. He's on a couple of other very important committees as well, but he's got a real passion for defence, which will emerge during our discussion. And Andrew Wallace joins me from our parliamentary studio. Welcome back, Andrew. Good to see you in person at last, <laughs> unmasked and so on. It's great to be with you, Catherine. Terrific. Thanks for joining out of a busy schedule. Big week, Pleasure. of course, in the party room. But, look, a couple of things that have emerged. We discussed uh, the submarines the night they were announced, I believe, with Paul Murray and events have unfolded. Uh, I think there's a misconception in our audience that there's a gap that, unless and until the nuclear submarines arrive, we are unprotected effectively. You've sailed with our fabulous Collins-class people. You know what a special breed our submariners are. Walk us through why we do have a deterrent capability on standby right now and bridging the gap between whatever decision is made over the nuclear submarine, whether it's the Astute or the Virginia. Well, Catherine, we are very fortunate that we have six very, very capable uh, Collins-class submarines uh, crewed by incredible young men and women. Mm. Uh, I've had the privilege of uh, sailing on HMAS Collins uh, about 18 months ago. And uh, any suggestion that the Collins-class submarine uh, is somehow second-rate is absolutely false. Um, you know, the, the Collins-class submarine is probably the best, uh, certainly top two conventionally powered submarines in the world. Mm. Um, so, you know, we ought not think that the Collins is some sort of a dud. Uh, the Collins had, uh, you know, a chequered history to start off with, mm. but uh, where we have got the Collins today it is a brilliant piece of uh, equipment and, you know, I, there is no gap. We are... We are uh, well placed uh, into the next several decades ahead. Mm. Um, but, you know, we do see that when, uh, for instance, when the, the submarines that we were going to uh, acquire through the French, uh, we saw that the threat levels that we were facing would be best faced with a, a nuclear-powered submarine. Mm. Look, clearly we want to get those nuclear-powered submarines here and operating in the Royal Australian Navy as soon as we possibly can. Mm. But, you know, there's a, there's a lot to this. Mm. Uh, we've got to build the technology in-house. We've got to crew our, our, our own personnel. I know that uh, Peter Dutton, who's doing an absolutely fantastic job in defence, uh, is, is uh, securing deals with the US Navy and the Royal Navy to ensure that we have... Embeds uh, Royal mm. Australian Navy personnel embedding with the Royal Navy and the US Navy on their nuclear-powered uh, uh, platforms so that uh, we, we get a relatively seamless transition. How does that and, sound? And, but sounds, and that process is underway as we speak, Indeed. I, I, and, I, I gather. So. And we're also, uh, you know, we are training our personnel overseas yes. already. Yes. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we, when I was on HMAS Collins... Uh, we had a, a couple of crew from other nations, mm. Uh, mm. We'll leave it at that. Yep, and uh, so, uh, you know, that is already in place and it's happening now. Mm. And I understand that the Minister and the Prime Minister are both open to leasing options as well to fast-track this. Uh, and you've, you've gone through the arithmetic of how many come off the production lines. Explain what the delays may be and what the mitigation may be in terms of getting an astute or a Virginia into the water? Well, they say that uh, a nuclear-powered submarine is the, the most complex yep. man-made machine wow. uh, that, okay. that, that exists. OK. Uh, so, you know, there's no suggestion that uh, these things aren't uh, complex and or, or suggestion that these things are easy to deliver because they're not. Hmm. Now, uh, the US uh, have built 17 Virginia-class submarines... Uh, they've got another 33, I believe, to build uh, or, or that are already on the assembly line. Um, it's difficult for us just to slot into that and say, well, we'll take, we'll one, take of one of those. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, the, the key to um, uh, ensuring that we have appropriate, uh, uh, appropriate uh, defences are to ensure that our, our 
Collins class submarines through their life of type extension mm. uh, remain top of class mm. uh, as, a, as a diesel electric submarine uh, to ensure that we're embedding our personnel with the US Navy and the Royal Navy um, and uh, to, to build our own skills uh, in nuclear science. Mm. And, and look, it is a bit of a furphy what we hear that you know, Australia can't build a, a nuclear industry because, mm. you know, Lucas Heights has been going for, for decades. Yes, indeed. Very yes. safely. Mm. And uh, I remember um, uh, cross-examining the, the head of ANSTO, the Australian mm. Nuclear Science Technology Organisation, a couple of years ago, and he was saying to me that we actually train the world's nuclear scientists right here in Australia. Mm. So... Mm. I think that's a bit of a furphy from those who are against nuclear, that Understood. we don't have the technology here in Australia. And uh, coming back to sovereign capacity, obviously the centrepiece of last year's update was getting us into sovereign missile capability to allow us to hurt an opponent further from home. That's obviously a priority. I think our audience might also be surprised to know that we can kill submarines using our P-8 Poseidons. There's a capability on the books already. Do you want to describe that as far as you're al allowed to? Well, what, what I can say is that our, our, the, 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 um, the platform that replaced the... Everybody knows the old Orion, P-3 yeah. Orions is our, is our P-8s. And these are uh, very, very uh, sophisticated, uh, complex but... Uh, quite lethal uh, mm. aircraft. Their their main job is to is to listen uh, and control a battle space, but they also mm. have an offensive capability yes. as well mm. uh, that they can not only track and and find and track a, a submarine, uh, a, a competitor submarine, but we can also kill it. Yeah.